Hello. So we are back Thursday. And uh, this time, let's fix up PC power supply. I think on the last video, someone asked, when do you fix PC power supplies? Actually, it's not worth. The power supplies on these days are very, very complicated. And also cheap. So it's more cheap to buy another one. But this is a special one. So the computer is a special one. The man agreed to pay the price. We couldn't find the power supply, so we have to fix it. You can see the power is plugged in. But the tester is saying nothing, so it's, it's dead. Yeah, the power supply is completely dead. Give me one second because I haven't checked, I didn't check the cable. Yeah, it is, the cable is fine, the power supply is dead. Okay, let's try and fix it, let's try and fix it. I'll leave this here. This is an old PC with Windows XP, keep in mind, yeah? But it's running an application with uh, a hardware ID. So you cannot, you cannot re swap the hard drive, you cannot uh, uh, use the application on different PC. The people doing the application, they are not doing anymore. You know, it's that kind of story where the computer has to be fixed. I don't know, the power supply is a HP power supply. So I haven't opened. I can't even open actually. Okay. Let's try and fix it. to open all the screws just to go inside what I expect, I expect probably like faulty capacitors blow up fuse, blow up MOSFETs can be anything that's what I expect I think the fan has to be tucked out Let's see what we can do. Maybe we can help the customer. Okay, it's looking good, yeah? One capacitor, it's a little bit, yeah, this, no, this one and this one, it's a bit gone. This one also, okay, this will be a long job. But I don't think that's the issue. Can be a different, a different problem. I don't think the capacitor because it's not working at all. Usually it's doing like weird things like it's coming, go, goes off, things like that. But this one is dead. Where do we have fuses? No fuse. Should be a fuse somewhere. I think we have to take the board out.
We need axes on the board. Should be careful with the screws because uh, possible the capacitor to be full charged. And we don't want fireworks here. Not today, no fireworks today. Let's see how we can take this out. Let's open more screws. See, that's why it's not worth to repair power supplies. It's a lot of work on it. Yeah, we do have a fuse there. Here it's a fuse. Let's check the capacitor to see if they are charged or not. No, they are not charged. Let's check the fuse. That mode. The fuse is gone, okay. Okay, the multimeter is good, the fuse is gone. The problem is if I replace the fuse, it's very possible to be here like a little ch Chernobyl. <laughs> You'll see sparks anywhere. Fireworks, yeah? Auto fireworks. So what can be wrong here? This white thing, I don't know, it's, it's, it's liquid damage? Probably not. Okay, let's check the power supply for short. So we have a power supply with a median point. So let's see, multimeter, it's on screen. Here is not short. Here it is short, so 72 ohms. It's a bit, little bit too low. That's what I explained. If we replace the fuse now, because obviously the fuse, you know, is getting burned when something goes shorted. So it's not like you replace the fuse and it's working. So what do we have here? Here we have the rectifier bridge, four points. Here we have two big capacitors. Like how I said, this capacitor, 71 ohms. So let's see what is here. Can be the rectifier bridge. Probably not. No. So how does this work? We have minus and plus. 
minus and plus and here is the median point median is like a differential power supply you know when you have uh, ground plus and minus but I have to figure it out how it's working So here we have something from here to here, some kind of, I don't know, from here to here again, probably capacitors, yeah, here on the middle we have a wire which is going Uh, actually, I'm wrong. No, it's for voltage. No, it's for 110 volts. I think when you have 110 and those capacitors are working like a double is doubling the voltage but I'm not sure so let me see what the switch is doing so right now the switch is here and there in the middle so here and here in the middle the switch is not connected okay that's good so what we left if the switch is not connected what is left is two capacitor on a serial mode so what do we have here can we jump straight on the MOSFETs and check the MOSFET we have a big MOSFET here we are lucky it's only one MOSFET No, it's not shorted, that's good. Something is going here on the board. Okay, this is auxiliary power supply. So this is the low voltage power supply here. Probably 5 volts, this one. You see with this, uh, this small transformer. And we have a chip, okay, that's good. So we don't have MOSFET because it, everything is on chip. Good. But still, that doesn't explain why I have 70 ohms there. Let me switch on ohms. So on this capacitor, I have 60 ohms. You can see on the multimeter on screen. That's not good. The diode, sorry, diode mode. So why this happen? Let me see what we have here. Of course we don't have schematics. Here I think we have another capacitor. Let's come with the power supply, 30 volts. So we have minus and plus. It's taking no power how is expected. But from here to here, 2 amps. And it's smoking. Something is smoking. You can see smoke 
Look, something is smoking. <sighs> it's a semiconductor smoke. Or a so one minus plus two amps and it's still smoking. It's a semiconductor smoke, it's not capacitor. Yo 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 Okay, rectifier bridge is mad hot. Yeah, rectifier bridge is gone. So one more time. Minus plus. Look at the smoke. Wow. Kind of cool. Kind of cool. Still smoking. Well, the smoke is, uh, you know, you can feel it. It's a resistor smoke when it's a capacitor, when it's a semiconductor. So, you know. We are lucky, you know, because the things can go more complicated. So let's try to remove the, the rectifier bridge. I still don't understand how my rectifier bridge is affected in this case. Because this switch is not connected. Wait. So here we have the switch, the, the 110 220 switch from here to here. You know, let's remove the, the rectifier bridge, which clearly is burned. There's no question about it. But obviously, keep in mind the idea how we found the fault. Yeah? So we don't know what's going on there. We don't know the schematic. We have an idea about the schematic. But we know for sure. If I'm coming with a voltage on the capacitor, which is supposed to be voltage there, should not smoke. Yeah? So we are starting from a simple idea, actually on the capacitor should be a voltage there. The problem is my solar iron, it's the power of the, my solar iron is not so high. So I'm not sure how we will take the, we can try with hot air. Uh, you can try to suck the solder with the with the thingy, but the solder has not so much power. But let's try, yeah. Let's try. So we have flux there. Let me help the solder iron. So you see that's a case when you need a bigger solar iron. Okay, that's fine. Here is fine. The rectifier bridge is fine. Oh. 
you know when you try to be as smart as but actually you are uh, it's not a rectifier bridge it's not a rectifier bridge yeah let's have a look together what's the problem yeah so how can I be so wrong how can I be so wrong so I think if, even my smell you know let me down so you see that thingy the blue thingy there this one yeah this is a capacitor the capacitor is burnt okay you see the capacitor is blow up that's the issue <sighs> but the smell was so close probably because it has the plastic on it yeah That can explain everything because that capacitor, the ceramic one, it's in a parallel mode with this capacitor. So that can explain everything. Yeah? Funny part is, I don't know how I will find a capacitor like that. Probably this will be like one kilovolt uh, capacitor. It probably will work without it, but yeah, it will work without it. Probably the power supply will not comply with the FCC rules. So. Okay, it's out. Yeah, it is out. Yeah, so that's the capacitor which is dead, which is blow up. Look at the capacitor. Yeah. But this is a happy case, don't get me wrong. So actually the problem is only a capacitor. Actually, the rectifier bridge is fine. It's still smoking. No, it's taking like 10 milliamps, and that's all. Let's put back the rectifier bridge. Uh, sorry, minus. No, more like that. Like that. Minus here on the minus of the capacitor, okay. Solder wire, yeah, yeah. Possible, yeah. I still don't understand how I was wrong because every every component has a specific smell, like the semiconductors, the capacitors, the resistors. I think I'm getting old. Maybe it's time to stop f fixing things and go and play golf, fishing.
all what is left to fit a proper calibrated fuse, most likely 4 amps, and test it. Yeah? Give me one second, one second. Okay. <coughs> Hopefully nothing will blow up. In the worst case, we have fireworks. Well, I'll leave my colleague. I think I'll speak with my colleague so he can plug it. <laughs> so what do you think? You ready? Did you have fireworks for uh, the new year? Let's put this thingy here to see if it's working. Let me find a cable. Let me grab another cable, yeah? Okay. So everything is safe, yeah? Nothing touching. Yeah? Okay. Yeah, all what is left is to be plugged in. Manuel, you have to plug in this power supply. Come on, you're brave, yeah? This. You, you have been show chosen, man. <laughs> Not today. <laughs> Not today. Okay, he is too scared. I am too scared, huh? I can't, man. You're brave, you're young. Oh yeah, let's plug it. If it's blowing up, it's blowing up and we'll check further. I haven't checked if there is still 70 ohms. We can check now. It's not. Okay, let's plug it then. It's plugged. We're still dead. Okay. How? How is possible? Okay, let's check the voltage. I will check with my other, my other multimeter. One thousand volts. Okay. No, it's no voltage. Ooh. Why? So it is plugged in. 
The fuse is done. Uh, voltage. We have any voltage here? No, it's not voltage. So we are safe. We are safe. Dial the mode. Let's check the cable. So this, where is coming? It's coming here. No, about here. No. Okay. It is a fuse inside of this thing. No, it's not. It's not fused there. <sighs> Let's check the cable. What? The cable fuse is gone. Hi, Emmanuel. Let's check different cable. And before we are plugging in, let's see. Or the fuse blow up right now? I don't know. Nothing. And yeah, now it's zero zero. Okay, that's fine. And here. And here is fine. Now we are good. Let's plug it. It's plugged in. And it's working. So all the voltages are fine. The fan is spinning. So we are okay. All what is left is to replace that capacitor, which are not, are not very damaged, but just to be safe and sure, we can replace that capacitors. But we have every voltage is present. Yeah. Every voltage is present. 11.08 that's a little bit too low should be 12 5.11 that's fine we're okay so my primary it's working fine it's about the lunch break so I'll stop now I'll have my lunch break but you got the point here yeah? So keep in mind, we start from uh, nothing. Obviously, we don't have the schematic of the thingy. So we know the voltage is coming inside. 220 is going to a rectifier bridge. And after that, obviously, you have the capacitors. You have the switching uh, chopper. You have the MOSFET. That's all what we know. And also we know the capacitor should be high voltage. So right now if I plug the cable it should be around 400 volts there. Maybe more. Yeah. But when I apply voltage with my power supply, 30 volts, the thing is start smoking. You remember we had like 70 ohms there. So the issue was this capacitor. So always keep in mind before replacing the fuse, just check 
because there should be another reason why that fuse blow up okay good anyway thank you for watching like and subscribe if you like the video and keep in mind yeah yeah definitely this capacitor you know this probably was a big explosion when this capacitor blow up yeah the fuse burn but before the fuse burn the capacitor was fully charged so probably this blow up violently yeah we'll see you on the next one not so many jobs the february is kind of dead but who knows maybe we can find something more uh, exciting Bye.